Ukrainian Security Service has reported that it struck Russian Tor, M2 and Buk air defense systems with the use of RAM and Switchblade 600 drones and killed hundreds of Russian soldiers in the past two weeks. In its official Telegram channel, the service reported on Wednesday that in the past two weeks, the special forces under the security service also struck 30 Russian tanks, 43 BBM, 56 artillery systems and MLRs, 12 air defense systems, 8 RBRR funds, 461 vehicles, 235 fortifications, 11 fuel and lubricants warehouses and ammunition. It should be noted that worth 25 million US dollars, TOR is an all-weather low to medium altitude, short-range surface-to-air missile system that is widely used by the Russian army. Buk, a self-propelled, medium-range surface-to-air missile systems that is worth 40 million US dollars, is designed to destroy strategic and tactical aircraft, cruise missiles, helicopters, and other aerial objects. A large chemical explosion triggered a blaze at the Daramut factory which then engulfed the building located at an industrial park An explosion sparked the fire at the chemical factory on Swan Drive in Daramut. The fire was quickly upgraded from a fifth to a seventh alarm, the first time in four years Fire Rescue Victoria have made such a declaration, which Deputy Commissioner Michelle Cowling said demonstrated the dangerous nature of the blaze. At one point, a large fireball with bright orange flames erupted from the factory which is located in a large industrial area bordered by the Western Freeway. Almost 200 firefighters have come to the area. Crews have successfully managed to bring a massive factory fire in Melbourne's west under control four hours after a large chemical explosion. A number of 44-gallon drums at the factory, which contained various hazardous chemicals, were sent flying through the air due to the impact of the explosion. The warehouse itself is full with multiple types of chemicals and those drums are being impinged by fire, so they are exploding and therefore they launch into the air and land outside of the fire perimeter. Those explosions that you're hearing are those drums, they are stacked inside the building. So those drums, as they get impinged, they heat up inside, so the chemicals that are kept in liquid form are expanding until the pressure gets inside those drums and then they explode, Cowling told. No injuries were reported and it was believed everyone inside the building was evacuated safely. Residents in the areas affected by the thick smoke coming from the blaze were told to take shelter indoors. The suburbs are urged to stay inside and close all windows, doors, vents and heating or cooling systems. A wind change has caused the toxic smoke to be blown towards Boundary Road, Fire and Rescue Victoria said in its latest update. The owner of the business is currently working with WorkSafe and Victoria Police. Mad. It's insane. Well, oh, shut up. Yeah, they're beeping at you, Mom. <laughs> Look what we're going to be breathing in later. Got to look all the doors, everything, windows. That is just not far from our house, two minutes. Helicopter over there, 47 trucks, chemical fire. Hooray, not. All right. Oh, shut up. Yeah, they're beeping at you, Mom. 